So in this video, we are going to learn how we can connect Google product in N10 using OAuth authentication. To create the credential for Google Drive, if you go inside Google Drive and if you want to create new credential, we'll click over here. And we can see we require client ID and client secret. So to get that, what we can do, we can go over here, open docs. Inside this, go to Google Cloud. So now over here, uh, it is showing my account is logged in because I had already done the login. So for you, it will ask to create a Google Cloud account. It's a very simple step. Just follow the step and the account will be created. So now once that is done, so now we need to go to console. So you can see this page over here. So you can see I have already created the uh, Anatent and demo project over here, but I'll show you how we can create. Just click over here, new project. Just name the project, then create. Now the project has been created. So once it is done, uh, click on uh, select project. So now in the left hand side, you can see that the, this project has been uh, selected. So this is how Google operates. So it creates the project inside that project. You will have all your APIs over here. Okay, so now you can see API and services over here. If you're not able to see over here, you can click on three dot. Now over here you can see API and services. Click on OAuth consent screen. So now you will land in this screen. Just click on get started. So now it is asking us to create the application. So now we need to create app using which we can get the other user credentials. So let's give the app name, user email. So this is my email. I'll click on it. Next. So now we need to select the audience. Inside the audience, we can see that we cannot select internal. Internal is only allowed when you have a Google Workspace user over here. So we'll click on new external and new next. Now we need to have contact information. This email address is required if Google wants to send any kind of update. Okay, so we'll add um, my other email ID. Next, click on agree, continue and create. So now our application has been created. So now we need to create our OAuth client. So if you remember, we are requiring two things, client ID and client secret. So to create that thing, uh, we need to click on this. Now we need to select the application type as web application, name, it could be anything. So over here, we require authorized redirect URL. Just come over here, copy this, then add URI, paste it. So this will be pasted. Now create. So now we have got our client ID. So just copy the client ID and paste it over here. Click OK. Now let's go. And over here, we can see our client ID is created. So now we click on this. Now in the right hand side, we can see we have got our client secret as well. So we can copy that, paste it over here, and now sign in with Google. So you can see uh, with the we have the Anatent Cloud over here. And if we click on sign in Google now, it will most likely fail. As you can see, it is failing over here. It is failing because we have created the account using our Luxury Account 77. And this is the Freelance 315 account over here. Now we need to add the test user who can use this credential to the testing purpose. So for that, we can come over here. Inside this, we can go to audience. Now we can add the uh, test user. Click on add test user. Let's add that uh, Freelance. Save. So now this email ID has been added as a test user. So now this email ID can access the application which you have created for the Google. So let's go back again. Do the sign in with Google again. Freelance. So it is saying that app has not been verified yet, but you can still use it. So we'll click on continue. Now we want all this access over here. So we'll go click on continue. So as you can see, it has turned green over here. So it means that we have successfully logged in with this thing. So now if you go back across this, if you want to, let's say, download the file from this list over here. So you can see we are getting 403 forbidden. We have successfully got the client adding client secret, but still we are getting 403 because we are missing one minor step over here. But for all the application, Google have their APIs. So we need to enable their API. We'll go to Google Cloud again. And over here, we can search for whichever application you want. So for I, I want Google Drive. So I'll come over here and I'll enable this. So once it is enabled, we can go back again. Just close it and come inside again. And now if you try to search it, we can see we are getting the data over here. So this is how you can create the credential for the Google Drive. And the same thing will happen for Google Docs. So inside Google Docs, we can go and create new credential. We will fill the same client ID and client secret. And now I'm not pasting right now. Let me close it. So once it is done, you need to enable the Google Doc API. So for that, we'll come over here, search for Google Docs. Or Docs, you can search only. So you can see we have Google Docs API inside this. We just need to enable it and that's it. You are good to go. So this is that simple over you. I hope you like the video. Please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care.